Hi folks, welcome to the channel. My name's Colin, call sign MM0OPX. This video, I want to show you how to check insertion loss on an NFED half wave transformer. Now, we're going to be using the back to back method, hence why we have two transformers here. So, you need two transformers, unfortunately, to do the test. Um, you could do this with two commercially built units that are, you know, within enclosures, that's, that's doable. Um, but what I want to do is just talk you through um, what you need to do uh, in order to, to, you know, to actually be able to do this check. Um, and this has been a great uh, learning experience for me um, on, you know, building efficient uh, end-fed, broadband end-fed half-wave uh, transformers. So these transformers are actually uh, stacks of three. These are FT240-52 uh, cores, you know, made popular um, by Steve Ellington. Um, um, for you know, for running high power, um, I've got thinner wire on these, but in my experience checking uh, back to back um, the insertion loss with this method, the, the wire diameter doesn't really matter. I'm not putting any uh, real power through it. So you can see, and these ends are actually soldered together. So this is the antenna connection. These are soldered together, and obviously on the other end, I've got these little BNC connector blocks. Um, um, so obviously I've got the, the, the hot side obviously on the plus, the ground to the negative on both of them and I've got a little uh, ground wire here. Now I've already done a check on here and um, so what you tend to find is is when you've got a capa capacitor um, in, sh uh, in shunt um, across the primary, you tend to find it gives you or shows lower insertion loss. So I've actually got that disconnected at the minute there because what I do is I like to do it, I did it with and then I basically I've cut one leg. So they're not actually connected in the minute, but that, that doesn't matter um, and for the purposes of this test, but it's just so you know that it's not actually connected up. Um, so we're, yeah, we're going to be using the Nano VNA. I'm by no means an expert, so I'm going to kind of do it, uh, you know, in real time and um, what it takes to actually set this up in order to, to check um, your insertion loss. We need to use both channels, hence why we've got two cables here. So we're going to send a signal out channel zero and we're going to put it back in channel one. Um, so we're going to connect it up to our transformers and the loss that we actually see, we actually divide that by two because obviously we've got two transformers here. So divide that by two and that gives us our, our insertion loss in dB and you could actually um, can convert that into efficiency. You know? So if you're losing 3 dB, you're only 50% efficient, um, for example. So we'll turn the Nano VNA on. First thing we'll do, and I'm just going to reset it. So I'm going to go to Cal, and I'm going to go to Reset. There we go. Now I'm going to make the assumption you've got a little bit of knowledge of the, the Nano VNA. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to set up the frequencies, the start and the stop frequencies, because they, they, they get saved as part of the calibration. So start, I'm going to start at um, 160 meters, 1.8 megahertz. Stop, 30 megahertz. Okay. Um, display format, we want to check log mag. It doesn't matter what color it is, but you can see channel zero log mag. And we need to go through so... Let me try and find this channel. So we want to go to channel one through. So there we go. So now we actually want to do the calibration using our calibration standard. So let's do that. So calibrate. So I've got these little barrel connectors here. So we'll connect that up. And we need to get our open, which is this one. Open. Now we want to get a short. And press short. And then we want to get our load, which is a 50 ohm resistor, which is here, silver one. Load. And then isolation, so this is isolation between the two ports, so I'm just going to leave this load connected. And I think ideally you should have another one and connect it up to channel 1, so I'm just going to hit isolation. And then through, I'm just actually going to connect the wires up. 
through. And I'm going to hit done. And I'm going to save that. I'll save that to memory 3. So you can see here that there's 0 dB loss. So this is what's getting sent through and then getting measured coming back on channel 1 or S21. That's because we have that connected. So once we disconnect this, you'll see this yellow line drop to the bottom. Like so. Now we need to have... Let me find my other barrel connector. Here somewhere. Ah, it's over here. So we need to connect the barrel connector to each cable. And I have these little uh, B and C um, um, two SME male connectors. So we're going to connect those. Now, obviously we didn't calibrate with this on it, but there's not going to be a lot in it. So let's see if I can actually get this in the picture. So, there's our, obviously our transformers. I'll put them up a bit because you don't really need to see them. So I'm just going to take, it doesn't matter which way, it, obviously, you connect this. So I'm just going to connect this into one of the transformers. Take this other one and connect it into the other B and C. And we should see something on the screen happen. There we go. Wow. Right. So this is our this is our measurements here. So I'm just actually going to take a note of this on the side. 160, 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10. So that's all the bands that we would actually um use because obviously they're harmonically related and it's an n-fed half wave so obviously we've got no capacitor on it at the minute so let's go down to one point there is 1.8 megahertz so they have got at that we've got 3.86 that's db of loss if we go to 80 meters so that's just 3.7 we've got minus 1.8 for 5 dB of loss if we go to 40 meters 1.1 go to 20 meters You see it's really falling off the cliff now. 4.7 and 28 megahertz. Wow. 11.02. So that's our loss. So I don't actually have a calculator handy, but what you would do with these is you, you would just divide these by two. So obviously that one would be 5.5 dB. That's that's an easy one. That would be point, there you go, point, point five five, zero point five five dB, etc, etc. So divide those by two and then you'll actually get your losses. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm actually going to connect up. I'll, what I'll do is I'll resolder um, the capacitor and let's see if we can actually get any difference to this chart and we'll show what difference the, the, the capacitor makes. So I've now been in, try and show you this, resoldered these capacitors um, across the primary. And it's actually improved things. So we don't quite have the same curving. You can see it's been smoothed out quite a lot. So why not do this check again? But as soon as we're up at 10 meters, we'll just, we'll just work it back again. So 10 meters is 7.5. Five, and you can see that's down from 11.2 let's go down to 15 meters Two point 
20 metres on 0.23. Forty meters, zero point seven one. Eighty meters, minus one, and one hundred and sixty meters, You see that that really falls off a cliff at the end. So basically, at two meg, at two megahertz at the top end of the band, it's two point eight five, three point five three at the the lowest end. So we'll just it's because of the the scale of the nano VNA, but let's just call it three. So here is the the final results. So this was no cap. This was with the cap, and this was actually a three uh, kilovolt. Um, a hundred puff a TDK cap, so it's a good quality cap. So you can see the difference that the cap actually made. So this is what we actually need here. These ones, it's I put the the box around them. So you can see that it's dropped it a little bit, the losses. But there's actually a fair bit of loss in 160 meters, 80 meters. It's actually pretty good. 40 meters, that's very good. Let me tell you that. Having a 0.355 of a dB is very, very efficient. 20 metres, it's actually not bad. It's not it's not terrible. 15 metres, meh. Yeah. Not great, but livable with. Um, but 10 metres, I wouldn't want those sort of losses. So if you think about that, 3.75 dB of loss on 10 metres, there's more, more than half your power gone. It may handle high power, the transformers, but... You're just losing it within the cores um, as heat. So, um, yeah, there we are, folks. I hope that's been of some use. Um, I hope that I've been able to explain that uh, reasonably clear um, and actually how to check insertion loss. It's a real um, handy thing, the Nano VNA, being um, able to do that. Um, I've probably checked... I've probably done about... Maybe between 20 and 30 of these checks... Um, checking different windings, close windings, spaced out windings, you know, loads of different uh, styles. Um, and the Nano VNA is a, a very cheap tool um, to be able to do that. Okay, folks, um, that's it again. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next one.